Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the 2021 St. Louis University Parks College of Engineering, Aviation, and Technology Wing Ceremony. I am Scott Duhlman, and I have the privilege of serving as the Interim Dean of Parks College. You're already risen, so I will not read the please rise. Uh, for the presentation of colors performed by the Parks and Guard Rifle Drill Team and the National Anthem via video. Please remain standing after the National Anthem for the invocation presented by Father James Sebesta of the Society of Jesus. We ask that you please silence all electronic devices during the ceremony. Unfortunately, the demands of this unusual time has kept us socially apart and maybe frustrated the fullness of your educational experience. But a special thanks to each of you who have taken the St. Louis University protocol seriously and made it possible to reasonably complete your final year, frustrating as it may have been. Realizing that an open and free quality education is the most important instrument we have of preparing you for your unique contribution to the community in which you will find yourself, we celebrate your completion coupled with guidance of the wisdom of God, of justice and honesty, 
of high moral character, you are enabled to build a world we all are proud of. Our hopes are high for you to accomplish the great things God has in mind for you. So be constantly aware of his inspiration in your lives. For you graduates, thanks should be the word deep in your hearts. Thanks to all those who have brought you to this point. Thanks to your parents especially who have founded you in the right direction and attitude in your life to be able to desire the education you are receiving, who have supported you and sacrificed for you through your struggles and successes. There are many more, your teachers, the university family, your companions, but most of all, God, who has blessed you with the tools to learn of the awesome world before you. This is one stage in your journey through, through that hopefully will have helped you discover your natural blessings and so equip you to accomplish the wonderful things God has in mind for you. Keep your eye steadily on God who is inviting you with outstretched arms and with the fullness of his love. He will give you guidance through all the phases of your life's journey and bring you to the fullness of life as you grow to appreciate his great love for you. So I ask God to bless you with his continuing presence and to keep you sensitive to the moral and ethical commitments that will make you valued members of the communities in which you find yourselves. I ask him to bless you with a noble heart that is for others, that you be the builders of a better world by being men and women for others. I ask God to bless you today with his presence, to bless you with a deep affection for those who have sacrificed for you to bring you to this point, to bless you with satisfying success in the opportunities presented to you, and that you bring a valued leadership to the community in which you live. We ask these blessings, O great God of our lives, that we be worthy of your continued involvement with us. And I ask God to bless all who are with us here today. Amen. Thank you, Father Sebesta. You all may be seated. Associate Dean Hindi, Dr. Bledsoe, Professor Majok, Dr. Zustiak, Father Sebesta, program coordinators, members of the graduating class, faculty, staff, family members, and friends. Again, welcome to the Parks College Wing Ceremony. Before we go any further, we would like to share a brief video from St. Louis University's President, Dr. Fred Postello. Greetings, graduates. While my formal remarks to all of the graduates will be delivered in the virtual commencement on Sunday, I wanted to take this opportunity to acknowledge this moment of passage at your pre-commencement. This is your day. Congratulations to the parents, family, friends, and other supporters watching virtually. We are pleased to share this momentous occasion with you. We share your pride in these Billikens. While the past 15 months have been difficult, together we pulled through as one slew. Despite the challenges and obstacles, you made it. All of us at SLU celebrate all of you who are now embarking on the next step in the journey in your lives. 
you leave prepared to go forth and set the world on fire. Remember that regardless of where your life's journey takes you, you will always be welcome here at SLU. May God bless each of you and St. Louis University. Thank you, Dr. Postello. Today we celebrate the success of our 263 graduates. I want to recognize and appreciate the parents, family members, and friends of our graduates. Over the last few years, you have entrusted us with the responsibility to provide your students with the best possible educational experience. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I want to reassure you that we have done our best and we thank you for the opportunity. Next, I want to recognize the faculty and staff of Parks College. Your dedication toward our students is second to none. Today, on behalf of St. Louis University, you fulfill a promise made to these students and their parents years ago. I thank you for your commitment. When we went home for spring break in 2020, we never could have imagined that the next 50, what the next 15 months would bring. But here we are, hosting an in-person graduation. And while it may not be exactly the way we'd hoped, it is still remarkable that you all persevered and made it to this outstanding achievement today. Today you will join more than 14,000 Parks alumni who have earned their wings before you. And regardless of your major, like every Parks alumnus, you will take charge of your world and lead it with courage and compassion. With great anticipation, we look forward hearing about your contributions to society. My personal best wishes to each one of you. Today, we are thrilled to welcome Dr. Sylvia Zustiak to share today's pre-commencement address. Dr. Zustiak obtained a BSMS degree in bioelectrical engineering from the Technical University in Sofia, Bulgaria in 2002, and a PhD in chemical and biochemical engineering from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County in 2009. She conducted postdoctoral research in biophysics at the National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, in 2011, she received the NIH Fellows Award for Research Excellence for her work on molecular transport in complex media. Dr. Zustiak joined the Biomedical Engineering Department at SLU in January 2013. Since joining the faculty at SLU, she has been awarded the Outstanding Parks Graduate Faculty Award in 2015, the University's Scholarly Works Award for Junior Faculty in 2017, and has been given the Most Influential Person Recognition by a graduating senior. Dr. Sustiak became the co-director of the SLU Institute for Drug and Biotherapeutic Innovation in 2018, joined the executive leadership of the SLU Center for Neuro Neuroscience in 2019, and received a joint appointment at the Department of Pharmacology and Physiology at SLU School of Medicine in 2020. Dr. Zustiak's research is highly multidisciplinary, merging the fields of engineering, material science, biophysics, and biology. At SLU, she has mentored 21 graduate students and 30 undergraduate students in research and has offered summer research internships for 14 high school students. Her work has resulted in more than 50 peer-reviewed publications, over 200 conference presentations, and multiple patent applications. We are honored to have Dr. Zustiak give today's pre-commencement address to the 2021 Parks College graduates. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sylvia Zustiak. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Dolman. All right. Dear graduates, congratulations to you, your parents, and your family. We are here to celebrate you and your accomplishments. But first, I would like to address the elephant in the room, an elephant so big that we needed to keep this auditorium almost empty to accommodate it the COVID pandemic. The last year has been a year like no other. The global pandemic forced us to isolate from our friends and loved ones, to learn and work from our homes, to attend class and do business virtually. These much needed health precautions have nevertheless taken their toll on our mental health and well-being. The last year of college is already challenging 
and the pandemic made it so much harder. And yet, you persevered. You did not lose your focus, your passion, and your determination to succeed. You stand here today to celebrate your grit and your accomplishments. I urge you to nourish this grit and apply it to everything else that awaits you in life. Some of you will go on to fly the friendly skies, attend graduate medical or law school, or join companies, nonprofit organizations, or the armed forces. Others might choose to travel and see the world, at least after the pandemic is no longer a threat, before committing to a career. Maybe you have already charted the path for yourself and you know exactly where you will be in five or ten years. But be aware, life is certain to throw challenges at you, just as the pandemic we are still living in. Life will be curvy and twisty and might take in the direction you did not foresee. I would like to share a little anecdote with you from my own youthful experience. When I first came to the United States, um, I came in on a summer work and travel visa while I was still a college student in Bulgaria. I spent the summer at Grand Canyon in Arizona and traveled around. I went back home full of wonderful experiences and no intention of ever coming back. Then my professor at the Technical University of Sofia suggested that I should consider graduate school in the US. I did not take him seriously. Who would possibly accept me? But I took the necessary tests and decided to try and see what happens. What happened is a long and eventful journey that took me to where I stand today. Being on the other side, it is my turn to tell you, believe in yourself. Don't give up and see what happens. You have made a valuable investment in yourself already. An engineering, physics, or aviation degree from Parks College of Engineering, Aviation, and Technology. No matter who you are, he, she, or they. No matter your race, religion, or citizenship. The degree you earn today is well deserved. It is yours, and no one can take it from you. Venture into the world and use it wisely and compassionately. The world today needs you. The new generation of engineers, physicists, and aviators. Today we are facing unprecedented global challenges. Global warming, habitat destruction, novel viruses and epidemics, waste, pollution, poverty, and starvation. Did you know that America is the second largest emitter of CO2 gases in the world? Did you read the latest news that the largest iceberg, the size of Mallorca, Spain, just broke off Antarctica? Did you know that pandemics like ours right now will be our new normal? Did you know that approximately 11% of the world's population goes hungry on a daily basis? Those are big problems that require bold solutions and you can be part of it. It is scientists and engineers who developed the vaccine for the COVID pandemic in record time. It is scientists and engineers who made possible the electric car, solar panels, using algae to consume CO2, or adapting crops to drier climates. It is aviators who help us physically connect the world. From ubiquitous things in life, like the cell phone, to large things, like reaching other planets. It takes scientists, engineers, and aviators to make it happen. Be visionary. Pursue your dreams. Make history. And remember St. Louis University's mission. Be men and women for others. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today.
Thank you, Dr. Zustiak, for your wonderful remarks. We now come to the part of the ceremony that recognizes the graduates. We call this a wing ceremony because issuing a set of Parks College wings is a tradition that dates back to 1927 and the founding of the college. At that time, everyone learned to fly, and the presentation of the wings was a symbol of that accomplishment. Today, these wings are meant to inspire confidence in your technical abilities, freedom to pursue your dreams, and a gentle reminder to return home and share your success with all. Traditionally, I would hand each graduate a wings pin as they cross the stage. However, this year, due to the COVID precautions, we have placed a wings pin on each graduate's chair. Even though I am not presenting each of you with a pin this year, please know that Parks College is tremendously proud of each and every one of you, and we recognize your individual accomplishments. Also, this year, graduates, when you hear your name called, please remain at your seat and simply stand to be recognized. It is now our pleasure to recognize the Parks College 21, 2021 graduates. I now invite Dr. Riyad Hindi, the Associate Dean of Graduate Education and Research, to present our advanced degree candidates. Thank you, Dr. Dolman. Good afternoon, everyone. Completion of the master's degree is a significant accomplishment. Each graduate student will be hooded in recognition and celebration of their achievement as their name is called. While we cannot have each faculty mentor hood their students this year, please know that they are celebrating with them all the same. The investor of the master's hood from Pars College of Engineering, Aviation, and Technology symbolizes the uh, uh, accomplishment. Uh, the color of the edging of the hood is indicative of the specific program. Orange is for engineering and gold is for science. Dean Dolman, I have the honor to present the following candidates for a master of science in engineering. Nama Odikachi Agu, advisor Dr. Jenna Garlovich, biomedical engineering. Hanin Alfori, advisor Dr. Flavio Esposito, electrical and computer engineering. Thomas Alexander Ambro, advisor, Dr. Chi Hu Li, aerospace and mechanical engineering. Gabriel Armani, advisor, Dr. Yang Gai, biomedical engineering. Renuka Rajendra Pandekar, advisor, Dr. Andrew Hall, biomedical engineering. Crystal K. Bell, advisor, Dr. Craig Adams, civil engineering. Andrew Edwards Bryan, advisor, Dr. Michelle Sabig, biomedical engineering. Yoon C. Chen, advisor, Dr. Theo Alexander, aerospace and mechanical engineering. Tristan Brandon Cooper, advisor, Dr. Jenna Golovich, electrical and computer engineering. Benjamin Frieden, advisor, Dr. Chris Carroll, civil engineering. Akil Kandasiri, advisor, Dr. Kyle Mitchell, electrical and computer engineering. Peter Janovic, advisor, Dr. Koyal Gark, biomedical engineering. 
Jeffrey Joseph Kelly, advisor, Dr. Michael Swartwood, ad, uh, sorry, aerospace and mechanical engineering. <laughs> Gabrielle Amy Mary Lawson, advisor, Dr. Scott Sell, biomedical engineering. <laughs> Fatin Ali, advisor, Dr. Rubik Garabagi, Electrical and Computer Engineering. Kelsey Zahira Musa, Advisor, Dr. Chris Carroll, Civil Engineering. Rassam Mohanad Rassam, Advisor, Dr. Yan Gay, Biomedical Engineering. Taulan Trudi, advisor, Dr. Riyadh Hindi, civil engineering. Oguzan Sarigon, advisor, Dr. Riyadh Hindi, civil engineering. Nicholas Shaper, advisor, Dr. Irma, we call her K, Dr. Irma K, so uh, uh, engineering physics. Katyn Schaefer, advisor, Dr. Chris Carroll, civil engineering. Monica Ann Schuler, advisor, Dr. Andrew Hall, biomedical engineering. Sayed Faizan Ahmed Hashimi, Dr. Kyle Mitchell, electrical and computer engineering. Brian Thomas, advisor, Dr. Chi Ho Lee, uh, aerospace and mechanical engineering. <laughs> Constance Kasmira Wall, advisor, Dr. Natasha Case, biomedical engineering. <laughs> Additionally, com completion of a doctorate degree is an occasion of a great pride and accomplishment, both for the students and the, and the faculty member who served as the student's graduate advisor. The investor of the doctoral hood from Pars College of Engineering, Aviation and Technology symbolizes this accomplishment. Dean Dolman, I have the honor to present the following candidates for a Doctor of Philosophy in Aviation Science. Abdul Aliyu, advisor, Dr. Terry Kelly, aviation. <laughs> Dr. Dolman, I have the honor to present the following candidates for a doctor of philosophy in engineering. John Handel Kennedy, advisor, Dr. Jim Podvin, aerospace and mechanical engineering. <laughs> Houston Linder, advisor, Dr. Scott Sell, biomedical engineering. <laughs> Jen Tennyson, advisor, Dr. Jenna Galovich, aerospace and mechanical engineering. Please join me in congratulating all of our advanced degree candidates. At this time, we will now recognize our undergraduate degree candidates. Dean Duhlman, the Department of Aviation Science, has the honor to prevent the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Aeronautics, with concentrations in aviation management and flight science. Please hold your applause until all the aviation science graduates' names have been called.
Mohammed Ibrahim Alasiri, Aviation Management. Abdulrahman Abdullah Awakiba, Aviation Management, Cum Laude. Michael Jonathan Bailey, Flight Science. Hunter Blake, Aviation Management, Magna Cum Laude. Matteo Catano, Aviation Management, Cum Laude. James Nicholas Clemens, Aviation Management. Connor Fitzgerald, Flight Science. Colton Avery Jeffries, Aviation Management. Quangpil Philip Jiang, Flight Science, Cum Laude. Tyler Johnson, Flight Science, Magna Cum Laude. Patrick Delano Jones, Flight Science, Magna Cum Laude. Ryan Patrick Leib, Flight Science, Magna Cum Laude. Malik Larcher, Aviation Management, Cum Laude. Austin George Liu, Flight Science, Cum Laude. Matthew McCoy, Aviation Management. Johannes Manua, Flight Science. Nicole Lynn Schneider, Aviation Management. Timothy Wakefield, Aviation Management, Magna Cum Laude. Please join me in congratulating our Aviation Science graduates. Dean Duhlman, the Aerospace Engineering Program has the honor of presenting the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering. Please hold your applause until all the Aerospace Engineering candidates' graduates' names have been called. Daniel Ankiat, Magna Cum Laude. Minase Yassin Bakri. Harrison Jose Bartolome. Garrett Edward Britt. Caleb Monte Neil Burleson. Samantha Jane Karlowitz. University Honors Program, Magna Cum Laude. Klaus Damasen Damaseno. Julian Valeriev Donchev. Joseph James Doyle. Megan Christine Estrada, cum laude. Justin K. Fantroy, cum laude. David L. Ferranti. Maximilian J. Friesen. Kyle Zenz Goldman, cum laude. Abby Marie Harris, magna cum laude. Johnny Anto Hay. Gideon Francis Hilt, University Honors Program, magna cum laude. William Leet Heiser, magna cum laude. Michael Tichi Kiho. John Bernard Closer, 
University Honors Program, summa cum laude. Grant Joseph Lemkul. Francesco Antonio Moro. Anthony Chua Chuwu Ameka Wajai. John M. Otten. Damien Augustine Owen, summa cum laude. Cody E. Powers, University Honors Program, magna cum laude. Kevin Michael Rorcasti, magna cum laude. Hao Chen Rong, magna cum laude. Claire Marie Schusler, summa cum laude. Jamin Shah. Stephen Robert Soloway, magna cum laude. Clayton Michael Staszewski, summa cum laude. Maxim G. Straley. Celia Genevieve Taylor Puckett, University Honors Program, magna cum laude. Jacob Waters. Please join me in congratulating our aerospace engineering graduates. Dean Duhlman, the Biomedical Engineering Program has the honor to present the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Please hold your applause until all the Biomedical Engineering graduates' names have been called. Zara Amar Alater. Susie Albarsha, magna cum laude. Fatima Al Hanoush, magna cum laude. Emma Claire Anderson, summa cum laude. Madeline Marie Andres, University Honors Program, summa cum laude. Jeffrey Au, magna cum laude. Nicole Bajeric. Cum laude. Yuzita Patricia Beamer. Jeremy Benick. Caleb Michael Berberet. Jack Riley Bessie. Savannah Jane Bogner, cum laude. Alyssa Marie Brown, summa cum laude. Evan Couple, summa cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Cavaness, summa cum laude. Jacqueline Marie Curry. University Honors Program, summa cum laude. Ifi Ekpanobi, summa cum laude. Maddie Scout Feldman. Colin Richard William Fricky, University Honors Program, cum laude. Katie Geezer, summa cum laude. Michaela Rose Giltner, magna cum laude. Zachary Goloszewski. Sarah Gould, magna cum laude. 
Stephanie Zamora Grant, magna cum laude. Mallory Grote. Brendan Patrick Hennessy, magna cum laude. Annalise Catherine Hilker, cum laude. Patrick Robert Horst. Lily Grace Wentz Hostetler. Katie Husky. Charles West, summa cum laude. Hannah Michelle Chauvin, magna cum laude. Ryan Philip Jasper, magna cum laude. Catherine Zaber, cum laude. Michael Robert Gear, cum laude. Lauren Kettlehone, cum laude. Austin Matthias Crone, University Honors Program. Joe Kiebrick, cum laude. Emma Marie Leone, magna cum laude. Jan Emily Santos Mangadalabnan, additional major computer science, summa cum laude. Juliana Nicole Moody, magna cum laude. Trent Picardo Mortera. Emily G. Mauser, cum laude. Emma Claire Nearing. Abby Nicole Nelson, magna cum laude. Darren O'Brien. Allison Paoli, cum laude. Vishnu Ranachari. Helen Richards, magna cum laude. Gabriella Ronning Arneson. Alexander James C.P. University Honors Program, summa cum laude. William Special, University Honors Program, magna cum laude. Nicole St. Clair, magna cum laude. Miriam Akbani. Please join me in congratulating our biomedical engineering graduates. Dean Duelman, the Civil Engineering Program has the honor of presenting the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Please hold your applause until all Civil Engineering graduates' names have been called. Jabria Faisal Al Rashid, <laughs> Elena Marie Andert, James P. Coyne. Jonathan Dufia, cum laude. Mia Ford. Madeline Eileen Carlson, cum laude. Evan Thomas Landaway, cum laude. Emilio Mattingly Hernandez. Pablo Mattingly Hernandez. Madeline Elizabeth Miller, summa cum laude. 
Marie Indira Rohadgi. Hannah Adele Schiffhauser. Joseph Andrew Sib, magna cum laude. Lucia Silunas, summa cum laude. Jessica Christine Sullivan. Maori May Wilkinson. Jacob Zalatop Zalatopolsky. De Dean Doolan, please join me in congratulating our civil engineering graduates. Dean Doolman, the Computer Engineering Program has the honor to present the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Computer and Engineering. Please hold your applause until all Computer Engineering graduates' names have been called. Eric Adamani. Jamil Jan Ali Morandi, Additional Major, Computer Science. Anthony Lam. Brendan M. McGreal, summa cum laude. Brian M. Murphy. Keller Claire Murray. Gonzalo Rodriguez Villa. Aaron Sela. Joseph Sloyan, magna cum laude. Ian Sovar. Kenji Yanaba, magna cum laude. Lorenzo Zamora. Please join me in congratulating our computer engineering graduates. <laughs> Dean Doolman, the electrical engineering program has the honor to present the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Please hold your applause until all electrical engineering graduates names have been called. Atanasio Deir Auskin. Yasir Khan. Christian Jean Leitalian. Ukash D. Patel, Bioelectronics, Magna Cum Laude. Emma Louise Spey, Bioelectronics, Magna Cum Laude. Christian James Edward Whitty. Please join me in congratulating our electrical engineering graduates. Dean Doolman, the mechanical engineering program has the honor of presenting the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Malik Matthew Adenyi Oleninka Mao. Jacob Stephen Bullard, summa cum laude. Patrick Francis Eustace, magna cum laude. William Frank Florence, magna cum laude. Riley Edmund Horton, magna cum laude. Trevor Kenneth Johnson, summa cum laude. Jeremiah Philip 
Kirsch, summa cum laude. Drew Frederick Attenlips, cum laude. Margaret Elizabeth Richard, cum laude. Kyle Joseph Romero. Zachary Robert Sarvis, additional major mathematics, university honors program, magna cum laude. Kaylin Jeanette Sheehan. Samuel Taylor. Connor B. Trees, cum laude. Cameron Christian Wallace. Michael Jeffrey Wilson. Please join me in congratulating our mechanical engineering graduates. Dean Duhlman, the Department of Physics has the honor to present the following candidates for Bachelor of Science in Physics. Please hold your applause until all physics graduates' names have been called. Timothy Leon Mahood, magna cum laude. Derek McCarty, additional major, mathematics, cum laude. Frank Gerhard Schroer IV, cum laude. Please join me in congratulating our physics graduates. Due to, the, due to the circumstances of today's ceremony, we have uh, had a few graduates who were not able to sit with the other graduates from their programs. I will now read the names of the students in attendance who have not already been called. Brandon Gillis, advisor, Dr. Riyad Hindi, civil engineering, MS thesis. Nathan Alexander Wilson, Flight Science. <laughs> Dean Doman, I now have the honor of presenting all of the graduates who chose to attend today's ceremony virtually. Each graduate's name will appear on the screens inside the arena. Please hold your applause until all the virtual graduates' names have been called. Andrew Behrens, cum laude. Eric Davies, MS Engineering, advisor, Dr. Srikanth Garujan, AEME, MS Thesis. Alec Day Dedman, Aviation Management, cum laude. Joshua Florida, Flight Science. Jacob S. Henry. Samuel Joseph Hughes, cum laude. Miranda Khalil, magna cum laude. Young Kim, flight science, magna cum laude. Thomas D. Reeves, Jr., aviation management, summa cum laude. Jacob Renfro, flight science, summa cum laude. Julian Saliba, magna cum laude. Charles David Sheehan, MS in Engineering, advisor Dr. James Carroll, Civil Engineering, MS Non-Thesis. Kieran Single. Nicholas Sokolis, MS Engineering, advisor Dr. Jaleel Kianfar, Civil Engineering, MS Thesis. Arbaz Syed, MS Engineering, Advisor, Dr. Kyle Mitchell, ECE, MS Non-Thesis. Corey Thiessen. 
Cole Robert Asai Troust. Margaret E. Zercher, MS Engineering, Advisor, Dr. Amanda Cox, Civil Engineering, MS Non-Thesis. Please join me in congratulating our graduates attending online. Let's have a final round of applause for all of our 2021 graduates. I will say there was a moment in the back where there was started to be some dancing right when their names were announced. I thought we were going to have a full-on dance battle happen, uh, but my disappointment was tempered. But and I now know what to do next time we have a socially distanced graduation. I know what to recommend. So, it is my pleasure to introduce the recipient of the 2021 Oliver L. Parks Award. This award honors a graduating student who excels in academic excellence leadership, and service. This year's recipient is graduating with a degree in biomedical engineering. During her time at Parks, she has served as a leader in various student organization roles. Most recently, she served as a president for the Society of Women Engineers and on the executive board of the Association of Parks College Students. She demonstrates her leadership skills in her role as building supervisor for the Simon Recreation Center. In addition to her leadership skills, she excels academically and as a member of Tau Beta Pi, the Engineering Honor Society. She enjoys giving back to SLU and the surrounding community. She has coordinated outreach opportunities with the Claver House and has also participated in Community ESL in Madrid, where she taught English to adults in the local community. After graduation, she plans to continue her co-op experience, after which she plans to work in the medical device industry. It is my pleasure to congratulate Emma Anderson as this year's Oliver L. Parks Award recipient. Emma, please stand and be recognized. Parks College of Engineering, Aviation, and Technology is recognized as part of an elite national program that prepares the next generation of engineers. This program is called the Grand Challenges Scholars Program. St. Louis University is one of 41 colleges across the country to have the privilege to select and award students as graduates of this program. Grand Challenge Scholars are tasked with completing five components, research experience, interdisciplinary curriculum, entrepreneurship, global dimension, and service learning. By combining their curricular and extracurricular experiences to solve the grand challenges facing society in this century. Endorsed and supported by the National Academy of Engineering, the grand challenges are a call to action to make use of the opportunities and tackle the societal challenges that have the potential to affect our quality of life. This year, Parks College is proud to present one esteemed graduate as a grand challenges scholar. Congratulations to Margaret Elizabeth Richard on achieving this outstanding accomplishment as a 21, 2021 Grand Challenges Scholar. Please stand and be recognized. Every year, during the fall and spring semesters of their senior year, Parks College students participate in a capstone experience called Senior Design. Since we were not able to host the annual symposium this year, students created videos to display their work, which are featured on our website. I encourage all of you to look at them and appreciate what our students are capable of. Faculty and industry professionals evaluate the projects and identify the top senior design team in each discipline. At this time, I would ask all senior design winners, please stand. Please join me in congratulating all of the winners with a round of applause.
congratulations to all our <laughs> outstanding senior design teams. I now invite Associate Dean Hindi back to the podium to present the graduate faculty and student awards. Thank you, Dr. Dolman. It's my honor to mention three very special awards at today's ceremony. The Outstanding Graduate Student Awards recognize Parks College graduate students who exemplary academic ex excellence, or exemplify, sorry, academic excellence, research distinction, and commitment to, mi to the mission of Parks College and St. Louis University. This year, we awarded one Master of Science students and one doctoral student. We are proud to recognize Soshira Sesha Pochirajo as the 2021 Parks Outstanding Doctoral Student and Hanin al Fawri as the 2021 Parks Outstanding Master Students. If, if they are present, I ask Soshira and Hanin to stand and be recognized. The Outstanding Graduate Faculty Award honors a faculty member whose dedication to our graduate students and demonstrated commitment to excellence in graduate education and mentoring have made a significant contribution to the professional development of a graduate student at Parks College. We are proud to recognize Dr. Flavio Esposito as the 2021 Parks Outstanding Graduate Faculty Members. I understand he's not here, but let's give him a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to take a moment to appreciate the dedication and service of our graduates who either have served or plan to serve in the United States military. Please stand and be recognized. Finally, I would like to thank all of our graduating seniors. This has been a tremendously difficult year for all of us, but your leadership demonstrated to the underclassmen how to persevere and go through the year safely and efficiently. There are not a lot of colleges that can say the same thing. Thanks to you, we were able to stay in person and have a great learning community. So thank you to all of you. At this time, please stand for the benediction given by Father Sebesta, which will conclude our ceremony. Thank you for sharing in the celebratory day with us. May God continue to bless you that the unique talents he has given you grow ever more completely to the fullness of what he intended them to be. May you always keep clearly in your minds and hearts your responsibility of acting out the justice and honesty and goodness that God has shown to you. May you live in ways that people who surround you value your presence and are inspired by your example. And may God's richest blessings come upon each of you and your families and remain forever. We ask these blessings and guidance in the name of our loving God. Amen.